My wife cuts my hair. It looks like a comet is literally about to hit Earth, but it might be a good thing. I'm talking, of course, about Intel's new Comet Lake desktop processors, which are not literally hitting anything. We've been anticipating this for quite a while, and now we finally have a reported release date. According to the report, they'll be unveiled on April 30th, so you won't have to wait too much longer for the newest batch of silicon from Team Blue. <laughs> yeah! The top-end Core i9 processors will feature up to 10 cores and 20 threads, but even the mid-range hexacore Core i5s will now feature hyper-threading, a first for the Core i5 lineup. Let's hear it for the Core Alpha. Yeah, nice one. They grow up so slow. So while this new lineup will add a little more value, we're hoping that we'll actually be able to get our hands on them as production may be affected by the pandemic. Maybe the virus knows we're trying to beat it using folding at home. We'll get ya. We're also going to be getting a new mid-range graphics card very soon. Although the GPU itself, the GTX 1650, is nothing new, there's now a variant with four gigabytes of GDR6 memory, whereas the previous version had the same amount of the slower GDR5 memory. The increased speeds mean that the card will probably be able to pull assets from the VRAM faster, which could translate to higher performance depending on the game. Though it should be noted that the move is primarily happening because of manufacturers are running out of GDDR5. But regardless, several AIB partners, including Asus, MSI, Gigbyte, and EVGA, are releasing cards featuring the new GPU, which should be going for around $160. So it could be an interesting choice if you don't quite have the dough to step up to one of the GTX 1660 variants. At least 1650 is an impressive sounding number. What's, wait, what's impressive about it? It's right in the middle. And a new kind of memory is on its way as well. All sorts of crazy stuff. A major RAM manufacturer known as SK Hynix has announced it's going to begin large scale production of 10 nanometer DDR5 this year, DDR5 baby. By next year, the company believes that DDR5 will make up over one-fifth of the world's DRAM market, as if. It's not even gonna be in anything now. I, yeah. No. Better power efficiency will be a major selling point for DDR5, as well as uh, running at only 1.1 volts, which is fewer volts than DDR4. And every step will come with error correcting capabilities. No more dumb, I made a mistake? I didn't know that. <laughs> We should also get higher memory density, meaning larger capacities per module, as well as faster speeds, with 4,800 megahertz expected to become a common offering for consumers. And that's in the spec. That's mm. Whoa, no overclocking. That sounds like great news for battery conscious mobile users, as well as streamers who are constantly running out of memory because they spent too much money in RGB instead. How was I supposed to know that? And all you poor fools who use Chrome with lots of tabs. Uh. Today's quick bits are brought to you by Private Internet Access VPN, which lets you mask your IP and encrypt your traffic. PIA offers over 3,300 servers in 30 countries and no bandwidth caps. It has configurable encryption levels and a kill switch to keep you in control. And when combined with private browsing, it can make websites think you're in a different country. You can connect up to five devices at once, whether they be Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, or Linux, and PIA's MACE feature blocks malware and tracking domains. Try it at the link below with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now it's time for the quick bet. Wow, beautiful. Thanks. Chrome is in no danger of losing its status as the world's most popular browser, but we have a new silver medalist, Microsoft Edge has beaten out Firefox, they Whoa. edged them out. Edge now has 7.6% of the market as opposed to Firefox's 7.2. In your face, Mozilla! No. I mean, that's what uh, I imagine Microsoft is saying right now. Firefox is better though. I agree. Yep. There have been a lot of YouTube videos spreading a conspiracy saying that coronavirus is somehow linked to 5G. And after 5G towers in the UK have been attacked by arsonists, thanks to these rumors, YouTube is saying enough and banning all such videos. Though other kinds of conspiracy videos revolving around 5G will be allowed to remain. I wonder if we can say 5G was responsible for all that weird stuff Joe Exotic did. Probably. He's my Tiger King. A few leaks have all but confirmed the new iPhone SE is on its way. It's gonna be slightly larger than the original with a 4.7 inch screen. But don't let the relatively small size fool you. That's why you bought one to begin with. It's expected to have very quick A13 system on a chip, so it shouldn't be much slower than the big boys. However, the name is simply going to be the iPhone SE with 2020 in parentheses. I really hope they print that on the phone. 
Uh, it's kind of strange coming from a company obsessed with designs. I doubt that. Mac users should make sure their system is up to date as a security problem in the Safari browser is opening up Apple systems to having their cameras and microphones spied on. Yes, they're better looking than PC people. All the attacker has to do is get the victim to click on a link that loads a malicious script. And with tons of people now working from home clicking on stuff because of the pandemic, I really don't think you want God knows who finding out you're working in your underwear. Wait, you were in your underwear at home? And you have a standing desk and your camera's under your desk? What? <laughs> yeah, ltdstore.com. <laughs> and you know how system requirements for games are often really inaccurate? To say the least. Well, it turns out that's also true for running Windows. As a Twitter user recently got Windows 10 on only 192 megabytes of RAM far below the listed one gigabyte bare minimum. Mind you, we don't know if you could really do much on that amount of memory, but the user at least got Windows up and running. Um, that's it. I guess you can at least look at those cool rotating wallpapers on the sign-in screen. Whoa. Maybe there's a reason the spec is what Throw it is. Your you, know? RAM. you don't need it. And you don't need us, at least today. So you can, you can shut your computer down now, but come back on Wednesday for more tech news. You got nothing else to do anyway, right? Yeah. What are you gonna, are you gonna go outside? You gonna walk your dog with a really long leash? You can't get close to dogs. Can you not? Your own dog that you live with? Two meters. I, I'm staying away from all dogs. I have my dog behind glass, I just pet the glass. <laughs> it cries all day.